Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. This is Snoitcha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So, we have reached 100k. <laughs> thank you everybody for your support, your encouragement, and for viewing these readings. I'm happy that uh, many of you find them quite helpful. All right, let's have a look at what your person of interest is feeling and thinking towards you. Okay, you do have a pop-up card here. Hmm, they want to open up. Interesting. So the deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And this is for those of you that have been in a relationship you might have been in a romantic relationship um this could be a situationship this could be simply somebody that's exchanged hot and steamy glances uh, across the room you and them uh, however nobody's saying anything you may know there's something there however there is a lack of communication These cards, I am focusing more on what your person of interest is feeling towards you, but um, I have noticed that these feelings and emotions, they do, um, well, they latch onto us and we latch onto them. So there's an exchange of energy here as well. Uh, sometimes we mirror the other person. I have done some career readings where somebody may be in love with someone and nothing of the career keeps popping up, but they're so into the other person that the, the love part of it keeps popping up instead of career. So the energy um, that we have when we think about somebody, it really does rotate around us as well. The energy is around us. So some of you might feel that this is your own energy. And I only pick the top cards, guys. You may see that a couple have fallen. Um, I only pick the top cards because that for me is the one that resonates the most and they are the most strongest. If I feel that it's necessary to show, I will show it, but I don't feel the need to see that. I don't see that right now. I don't feel the um, strength of those particular cards on the bottom. This is very different. Capricorn, what's going on here? Um, this is something huge that's happened between you guys. This is a very different arrangement of cards. We have here opening, synthesis, healing and then we have hearth and home awakening wild woman responsibility crisis and illusion under the bottom of the deck the overall arching theme all right capricorn i'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently this is something that they're not telling you they're unable to tell you and there are some reasons here why they're unable to communicate with you and tell you the way that they feel. My dear Capricorn, quite a few things have happened between you and I. And yes, there is a part of me that wants to open up to you. Much of the things that I have said and done have been hidden behind the shadows. They have not come out into the open. I do want to open up to you. I have kept things hidden. I have not told you the truth about certain feelings and emotions. Once upon a time, there used to be peace and harmony in this connection. But as time has gone by, I realize now that there's a lack of peace and harmony. Things are no longer the way they used to be. And for this reason, I have now retreated. I keep to myself. I am far from you. I have isolated myself, forcing myself into loneliness because I want to think and contemplate about this connection, about certain things that have happened in this connection. I do feel
that no matter what has happened, you and I have this connection where even if I am rude or mean, however I treat you or others, for some reason you have always accepted me with open arms. And we, being with you makes me feel as though we are like family. Things have changed now for me. And I am starting to see things quite clearly. I did not think of things in this way before. But now I see things differently. I see things from your eyes. Why I have done what I have done. Now I'm in your shoes. In this connection, I understand that I have not been as truthful. I may have said a few things which appeared to be true at the time, but it turns out they were lies. I have told you paragraphs and pages of stories. However, I have left out a few things what you don't know won't hurt you. But is that a lie? Because I didn't give you all of the information. I have kept things from you. Twisted things. But now, I feel that it's time for me to finally take responsibility for the pain and the suffering that I caused you. There are certain things that I have said and done in the past and I could have done things better. I could have been a better person. Now I want to take responsibility for the words that I said, for the things that I did, and for the things that I should have said and done but I just never did. I kept quiet. All of this goes through my heart and mind and in my body right now I do feel very overwhelmed with emotions and feelings that I just cannot sort out. For this I am in a state of confusion right now which is exactly why I need to be in hermit mode hence I am healing I'm staying away from the rest of the world so that I am not distracted. I need to think about this situation I am so overwhelmed that my mind can't think straight anymore. So I don't make a move. I don't make any changes. I don't do anything. There's a lot of mental anguish, anxiety, frustration, and impatience at this point. And it's difficult for me to open up to you. Overall, right now, seeing all of the things that have happened between us and the way things have been, I do feel that it is very important that I keep my distance for now, try to learn from my own mistakes, and eventually, hopefully, I will heal from this. For now, I am hiding from you. I may wear a false mask, I may pretend and act as if everything is okay, but truly it is not. I'm simply hiding, pretending as if everything's okay, when in actual fact, definitely it is not okay. I hide the truth, I hide behind a veil, I hide behind a false mask, behaving in ways that are unpredictable, as if you don't even know me. But the truth is, I know what I did. And right now, I am overwhelmed. And I need to think about all of this. This is what I do alone and I contemplate. All right, Capricorn. There's a lot of distance right now between you guys, both of you. Um, so much has happened that this person does feel guilty and embarrassed. I don't see guilty. No, I don't see guilty right now. But I see embarrassed. 
they know that they have hidden things from you and you know they I don't see the wisdom card but usually after the healing card I've noticed the wisdom comes out after you heal then you become wiser when you become wiser then you're able to take that responsibility and fix things so far this person is not at that level yet they're not at that level yet but they're getting there some of you may feel that you know you don't see progress from this person because they're keeping to themselves they're trying to keep to themselves because they know what they did was wrong and they don't know how to fix it <clears throat> let's have a look at the lover's path tarot okay so these are any issues any problems that may have occurred to oh too many cards any issues or problems that may have occurred that um, have caused the issue in the first place so what happened between the both of you something either that they've told you or perhaps they didn't tell you some of you may know this some of you may not so when things started to go downhill in this connection this is what I'm looking into balance and the nine of staffs So with the balance card, at some point in time, things were fine. There used to be peace and harmony, like the synthesis card. There was peace and harmony at one time, but things started to change. Then there was a lack of peace and harmony. There was a lack of self-control. And there was a lack of equilibrium. There was no balance. Here we have an imbalance in the connection. At some point in time, this person was feeling discomfort. They were feeling uncomfortable about the connection about the situation they were unable to find peace within themselves or with others and there was a lack of inspiration in their life they were very dry very empty on the inside they they were oh like a very I'm seeing a crumbly rock I'm seeing a rock that you kind of touch and it falls apart like sand like this person they didn't have it all together this person was already emotionally injured when you entered their life we have here the nine of staffs the nine of staffs does talk about wow talk about resonation if there's such a word um, this resonates okay it talks about responsibility guys remember we just saw the responsibility card so this person now wants to take responsibility earlier with those cards that shows the present this I'm looking into a little bit of the past why things happened in the first place well there was a lack of responsibility they wanted to pause before any type of success that would occur they may have been very overwhelmed by the way with work for this reason, they were not able to give you a lot of their time, energy, effort. They were feeling overwhelmed by the work that they were being given. This could be in regards to actual career work. It could be anything regarding university, training, taking care of a loved one, responsibilities at home. It could be anything. But this person was overwhelmed. They couldn't be at all of these places at the same time. What they really wanted was a need for a break and they were denying responsibilities that were being given to them and the responsibilities that they had now need for a break also talks about the healing card where the person has gone off to the mountains um you know metaphorically and they are staying alone very aloof but they are meditating and wanting to know more about how i can fix the situation what did i do and why did i do what i did why did I do it? They're trying to figure out themselves. So Capricorn, a lot of the situation that occurred here, it's, it's that famous saying, it's not you, it's me. Or rather, it's me, it's not you. That's what happened. Um, you guys are all set emotionally, but this person was not. Let's have a look at the beginner's tarot deck okay so 
a part of this person really does. This is any actions, any intentions, any plans this person may have towards you. Now, what I'm getting the word fantasy land, they, they live in their head a lot. Like they think about you a lot. Of course, with the healing card, they're meditating. Um, this person does want to take a leap of faith with you. The problem with the leap of faith is that they're taking action first and thinking later. That's a very immature uh, move and it may not last for a long time. However, the intention is there. Now, the next card we have here is the Five of Pentacles. And you also have a card here that was the Five of Cups. So you have the Five of Pentacles, you have the Moon and the Five of Cups. Now, there is a hell of a lot of sadness here, right? You guys can see that a lot. So we have Five of Pentacles. This person does feel that this connection has become so distant. There's so much distance between the both of you that they do feel that they have been left out in the cold or somebody here feels very much rejected. Not being able to move forward in this connection. Um, somebody has cut somebody off emotionally and they're really hurting. This could be you, this could be them. Mostly I am focusing on them. Here we also have the moon. Lies, betrayal, remember lies, wild woman. There's a sense of lies and betrayal, but at nighttime, this person gets extremely emotional about you and this situation. In recent times with the Five of Cups, they have been feeling as though they had a huge opportunity of being with you and fixing the situation. But they are regretting so much that they have done that they are unable to move on. And that is a problem. Sometimes it's a good thing. For them right now, remember, they're in the hermit mode. So not hermit, but they're in the healing mode. So they are keeping to themselves, trying to heal. But why? It's because of that Five of Cups. They feel regret over certain things that they have done. The only issue here is that, okay, that's great. You know, you're thinking about the past, but let's move forward. What are you going to do in the future? At this point in time, Capricorn, this person's very much in their head. They're just thinking constantly. Um, they're not able to move forward right now. Um, it's almost as if they, they have traumatized themselves by the way that they kind of treated you. We also have here the Two of Wands. Ultimately, this person is going to, and they have made a decision. They're going to stand firm in the way they've always felt about you. And they've had good feelings towards you. They do want to take a chance and date you. They want to go out with you, take you out somewhere, have a little bit of fun with you. Um, not intimate fun, just to kind of let's start things off again. Let's, let's be friends again, that type of situation. So Capricorn, do I see anything in terms of you know, actual real action? I don't, not right now. But there is a lot of thinking going on. And at some point, they're going to stop wanting to just think. And it's going to hurt them so much that they're going to want to make that decision and then reach out to you in the, in the very far future. All right. Let's have a look at Archangel Answer Cards. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a quick prayer. All right. Let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> Success. So these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Guys, it's going to take a while, okay? Some of you may not want to see this a year from now. Remember this person is at this level and you have already reached here that's why they need to come up to your level in order to resonate with you and it's not an on-off switch people are not like that people have to change and evolve and understand why they're doing what they're doing that way they're more confident about themselves as well they are telling you that there will be success um, it may come a year from now they're telling you don't stop giving and receiving love. Keep that positive energy going and flowing. You have here also peaceful resolution. Amazing. 
with a peaceful resolution, some of you may have gotten hurt. Um, this may have been a very emotionally draining kind of connection. And eventually there is going to be a middle ground where the both of you meet in the middle and there will be a peaceful resolution. That's very good. Within the next few weeks, there's going to be something that's going to change Capricorn. There's going to be a little bit of a, of a hiccup in this connection. Listen to your intuition within the next few weeks or months. Listen to your intuition, okay? This is your higher self speaking to you. Your soul speaking to your spirit, which is your body. There is a conversation that's happening. Your spirit is quite young. Your soul is ancient. It is much more older and wiser than all of you put together. You as an individual put together, not all of you in quantity outside. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But as you as a person, your, your soul is much more older and wiser. It's been there, done that. It's experienced certain things. Sometimes you may feel this intuitive kind of nudge or this push and you think, you know, should I follow this hunch? Um, yes, listen to it. That is a part of you that's trying to come through, that's trying to talk to you. The time when this happens will be perfect timing. Some of you may want to, um, you know, jump the gun, so to speak, um, but don't. Just take your time. The timing will be perfect when it does happen. It'll happen. Within the next few weeks or months, you're going to realize that you're going to be able to listen to your intuition a bit more. Eventually, you're going to be able to communicate with this person. Now, when you do communicate, do not send very long messages or text messages. Be, be like that rare diamond, okay? Just give a little bit and then pull back. That's it. Don't give too much because then this person will lose that value for you, especially initially in the initial stages. Remember what it is that you want to say to this person. Write down, and I tell a lot of people this, write down at least three or four points, points that you want to tell and speak to this person about because what might happen is if one day you just bump into this person and you get that chance to speak, you may lose that opportunity and only remember two points, but not the three and four. And then you regret it. And then you might not get a chance for a while. Whereas if you had kept it short and sweet, this person will talk to you, they'll listen to you, they'll know what it is that you want to do and they want to do. And use the I approach. I feel this suggestive approaches. Never, never speak in a way where you say, I feel you should do that. Say it for yourself. I feel like this. What do you think? Do that type of technique. You can see online, they have a lot of uh, good videos out there um, in terms of communication. Some of you might need to be a bit more um, careful when you are communicating with this person. I don't want you to be walking on eggshells. There's no reason to ever be in a freaking connection where you're walking on eggshells. That is not a connection. That's not worth it. You shouldn't have to be afraid of what you're going to say to a person, but you have to look at the state of mind of that person. This person's in the crisis mode. This person is trying to heal. This person is not who they appear to be right now to you. They may have seemed very confident, but they really are trying to figure themselves out. Eventually, they will change. Everybody does. Nothing ever stays the same. It's always changing. It's always evolving. So Capricorn, I do feel that there are going to be changes. It's going to take some time. But do take care of yourselves and be expressive when you need to be. Don't stay quiet. That is your reading. I hope I was able I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below. And thank you for all of you who have uh, supported the other channel as well, um, Astointia Audio. I know many of you wanted to see what it is that I look like, so I do have a video up there if some of you haven't seen of myself singing. Um, I do enjoy singing. And so I decided to uh, share that with you all as well. And once again, thank you all for your support. We are at 100,000 subscribers and counting and more. Wow, I cannot believe that. Never thought that would happen. I never even thought that I would do this. 
Um, but I love doing this, and I love uh, helping people. All right. You all take care and stay safe. Bye now.